Hey everybody, it's Jace from Black Ovis. Uh, depending on the state you're in, your hunts are either ongoing or getting ready to kick off. We're just a few days here, exciting things. So I really wanted to talk about our best-selling broadheads and you know what makes them good quality, what makes them above, a step above everybody else. And I'm a huge mechanical guy. I know that you know that's a big opinion of mine, but there's plenty of good fixed blades out there. That's the beauty of archery. There's, you know, there's more than one way to skin the cat. So let's get into it. Um, I'll jump right into Evolution Outdoors. So this is from our good friend Dell down in Arizona. He has a full line of both mechanicals and fixed blade heads, the Jackal and Hyde series, for those of you that are familiar with them. Um, in front of me here, I have one of his 125 grain all steel versions. This happens to be the larger cut at two inches, um, but he makes them in you know, smaller conservative cutting diameters if you're a fan of that for maybe you're gonna shoot an elk with them or you're shooting longer distances. The cool thing about his design is they all run off of the same ferrule, whether it's a fixed blade or a mechanical. So you're gonna get similar flight characteristics. Obviously, I always recommend going a little bit more vein if you're gonna be running a fixed blade. Um, and they already come with this leading bleeder blade um, edge as well. So it just really increases uh, penetration if you do encounter a bone as well as deep, you know, deep penetration on bigger animals like elk, um, even maybe a buffalo, a moose, something out west here. So um, yeah, so that's, that's the Jackal and Hyde series from Evolution Outdoors. Um, they're really easy to practice with, which is a huge thing for me. Um, I have some practice heads in front of me from Grim Reaper and G5. The downside to those is they don't necessarily match the profile of the broadhead 100%. So you, you really need to go out and confirm that they're flying like the actual broadhead. And that usually means sacrificing one broadhead. Um, my experience, it's usually extremely close out to 80 yards or so, and that's plenty far for most people. And, and I'm not saying that we should all be shooting long bombs, but it is nice to know those things. If you already have an arrow in an animal and you need to make a follow-up shot, um, you know, just having 100% confidence that those are flying perfectly for you. As far as the Jackal and Hides, um, you know, you can set this set screw so that these blades will actually not open, which is really cool. So you can hunt with the actual broadhead and you don't have to worry about, you know, whether it's flying like the actual thing or not. So yeah, uh, but we'll go from, from there. I'll talk about G5 for a moment. So right here in front of me, this is the uh, Dead Meat V2. This is their inch and a half cut. They also offer this in what they call the Mega Meat, which is a two inch cut for you guys that are hunting whitetails, or maybe you're shooting you know, mule deer on a water hole or something super close, great antelope broadhead. Um, the ferrule is the same, it's just the blade length that changes. And then um, it's a steel versus an aluminum insert into the back of the ferrule. So um, very similar flight characteristics, just like the, uh, you know, anytime you go to a bigger blade, whether it's a fixed blade or a mechanical, and you have more surface area there, I recommend going up a little bit on your, your vein size on the Mega Meat. Um, you know, I'm running a uh, AAE Hybrid 2.3 here in a four fletch configuration with this um, Dead Meat 1.5 and at, you know, 80 and in, it's right with my fill tips. So very quiet, um, really cool setup for in the wind, you know, antelope, mule deer, extended ranges. And I wouldn't hesitate to shoot an elk with this inch and a half cut. It's, you know, got a good steep blade angle. And as long as you do your part and hit them behind the big bones, you're gonna be just fine. So. Um, Next up, I've got um, a Striker X. So this is their four blade, fixed blade, uh, all stainless steel model, replaceable blades for those of you that like that feature, but uh, just a really proven design, a compact fixed blade, so it flies extremely well. Um, you know, out of the majority of bows I've played with in different speeds, I've been able to push these fairly fast with a, you know, a mid-sized vein set up in the back and still get them to fly like a field tip at, you know, most, most hunting distances. So. I can't say anything but good things about the Striker series. I think if you're looking at fixed blades to hunt out west and shoot at extended ranges, it's really a good option for you. Um, Grim Reaper has a whole pile of options. Um, they've got phenomenal fixed blades as well as mechanicals. This happens to be a fatal still in front of me. This is an inch and a quarter cut all stainless steel model that they offer. Um, their blade retention system is so cool. Um, they have a spring here in the back end. It honestly feels magnetic in a way. Um, just very smooth operating. I really like this head for spot and stock hunts when I may be encountering brush with the tip of my arrow when I'm in that last you know, 100 yards or so because I don't have to worry about my blades coming open 
like something that uses a collar system on the back end of that mechanical. And you know, it, it always happens at the most unopportune moment. You look down with an arrow knocked and you see a blade hanging and that buck just got out of his bed or something. So, you know, Grim Reapers mechanicals are, in my opinion, one of the best out there. Uh, all American made, all premium componentry. I can't say enough good about them. And the cool thing is they do have a, a practice head with those. And out of all the practice heads on the market currently, I think they match their profile of their broadhead the closest. Um, and I haven't been able to see a difference in the flight out to 80 plus yards. Um, you know, I'm constantly shooting at long distance. Uh, practice long hope for short right so i hope this helps a little bit I, I mean there are so many good broadheads out there we could spend hours talking about them but here in front of me are some of the all american made with all american components you're going to get really good results out of them and that's one thing you know you hear a lot of guys bashing mechanicals buy good ones buy american made you're not going to have an issue with you know a blade not opening up or penetration issues that sort of thing so please call in i know this is a very hot topic very opinionated um, you know, we have very open minds here. We all run different setups here in the office and we'd be happy to go over, you know, good options for you personally. So please call in Black Ovis uh, on our customer service line or you can reach us at blackovis.com. Thank you.